Alrighty, we're going to be installing an outdoor porch light. This is going to be a uh, project source here in the country I was born in. We are using in this application 14.2 Romex. It's 14 American wire gauge, black, white, and ground. Black is live, white is neutral, and the bare wire is the ground in this case here. So I'll show you how to install this uh, outside light. We're going to be using a metal box. Okay, we'll come up here, we'll place our box. Okay, we'll get these lined up at the top of our box here. Focals the way they are, but you know what? It is what it is. I just thank God and be thankful for what I have and don't worry about what I just thankful for what I can see and not worry about what I can't see. Right, right there. So we'll get our saber saw. Okay, so now we'll open up our openings. We're going to bring our two 14 twos through to go to our fixture. So we'll cut across the top here. Well, I think our battery is dead. John, I think the battery is dead. Should be. I just took it off the charger. Because hmm, it stops. I'll put it down on two and see if that works. Same thing, it stops. I have to use this. Okay. I don't think that's got. But that, that the whole that blade isn't gonna cut through that wood, I don't think. Yeah. We, we might have to cut it from the inside. I'll bring the box and we'll probably try cutting it from the inside. Okay, that went through easy. I'll bring the box in and trace it. So you can watch the hole being cut from the inside.
but they will not stand here, they will not appear in truth. They will be here and they will be here. Knocks out. Just a little bit too. Okay, so we got our whole cut from the uh, inside rather than going through the outside here. And we're going to just see how this sets in here. So it's going to set in here like this. Now, what this has a nice little adjustment on it. We can set this because they're going to put some T111 up here eventually. So we can open this screw, bring it back a little bit so that it's level for the. Uh, T111 they're going to be putting up.
and there's a little notch in here for your adjustment for your half inch adjustment you can see that little notch in there see that little nub there that's the notch for your guide for a half an inch we'll stick it in here like this and we'll screw this in with our sheetrock screws we'll get our <coughs> green screw back in here for our ground wire. So we'll put a screw on the top here. And we'll put one in the bottom. There we go. That is shimmed out now so we can put our T111 in here and it will be flush. Okay, now we're ready to start putting it together up here. I just ripped the end there so I don't damage the, uh, if I cut the insulation, it's just the, uh, where it's going to be stripped. I'll clip all our debris off here. Okay, so I will get our wires back down into our jacket. Our jacket coming into where it's only coming in like a half an inch into the box. We don't want the jacket coming in too far. And we'll tighten our screws up here. Okay, so we have to bond the ground wire to the box. So what we're gonna do is we have a green screw here in the back. We're gonna take, I have this strip plenty along, so I'll come up. I'm gonna get one ground wire up here. We'll get it around this green screw. Close it the direction our screw turns. I'm going to tighten the screw up before I close the loop up. So, okay, now I got it down close enough so I can uh, get our wire around our green screw here. There, we got it under the screw head all the way around. Okay, so we're going to get our ground wires twisted together here. Now our strap has a green screw on it, so we're going to have to uh, bond to that thing too. So we're going to have to get a, a tail wire out of another piece of 14 too.
Okay, so we will take, here in the country I was born in, we use uh, wire nuts. We're going to use, we can put three number 14s in a yellow wire nut. So this is already bonded to the box. So this is going to go, our tail is going to go to the uh, bracket and the light fixture. So we can get our first two started here. Get them twisted nice and even. Cut our tail off. And if we all three of them on the end here, we'll put our wire nut on. Okay, now we can put our ground wire back into our box here. We'll put that in so it's all the way of everything here. Now we'll get our blacks and whites ready here. Okay, so we'll get our uh, Insulation even at the bottom here, like this. Get our insulation even at the bottom, like that. Yeah. Twist them so they're nice and even. Even on the end here. We'll do the same with our two black wires here. Twist them so they're even. anymore so now we're ready to take and we'll put our uh, cross piece on here that we'll fasten our light to so we'll come down Well, our screw, these come with six, 30, 832s. We need a 632 screws. But you know what? We don't fuss straight. I'm just going to tighten this so I don't lose my screws. And I'll jump down and pause the camera. And go look for some... 632 screws. So we were fortunate we had an outlet here that we took out. So we're not throwing it away. Yeah. But we got a 632 screw. So you can always save them off of other stuff. We're not throwing these out. We're...
Okay, we'll get ready to put our light up. We'll just loosen this up to the top of it. And I really put our ground wire down here. And I put the ground wire around that green screw there. Make sure it's under the head all the way around. So we can loosen this up so we can get our wires into the box after we hook our light up. There we go. We're going to drop the screw. Now we're coming. We're going to use uh, two yellow wire nuts because our fixture comes with orange wire nuts. You can only put like one 14 in there with a the stranded wire. But we'll use one of the orange ones on the ground wire. So now we'll go down and get our light fixture and we'll put it up. which is our live wire. Now we're going to have to take this off again, so I'm not going to wrap the strands around the solid wire. I'm going to just take them. I'm going to twist them like this. And I'll just line them up even like that. Get them lined up even like that. Put our wire nut on. Because they're going to have to take this off when they put the T111 up and then this will be put back up again. Line them up even like that. Put our wire nut on. Make sure our insulation goes up into the wire nut there. And we'll take our bare ground wire. Get it even on the end like that there. Okay, now we can hold our wire, push our wires back into our box here. As I say, this is going to be taken off when they put the T111 on. Get this centered here like this. Our little caps off here, and we'll set our fixture in. 
Now we'll put our jelly jar on. They'll put a ball bin when they have one, so I'll just put this on there like that. So there's our fixture we put up, and there's the instructions.